When I started working with this idea, it was just me. But I've always had this idea since I started doing it. Maybe it's just because I think like a choreographer that it would be really beautiful to see a group of dancers creating a giant drawing together in, in unison, like synchronized drawing, like synchronized swimming. And I actually have always felt when I choreograph that um, the dancers are my paint. So this is actually just a more literal way to show that idea. Heather Hansen's choreographed artwork that combines art, movement, and so much more were captivating to us. So Miss McCray's Grade 5 ASA group began to investigate and study this new form of art. Today, Will and Stephanie will be demonstrating this technique during this video. And as you look around the spa, you may notice some finished pieces displayed that look like that of Heather's work, but these were in fact all created by SIS students. As we give these two artists the time that they need to complete a live piece for you here today, we wanted to share with you more of our story and journey through this whole process of learning a brand new art technique. Over the past few months, we've committed to studying her work once a week and it has taught us more than we could have ever imagined. We have made connections with having a healthy body image and appreciating our bodies and using them as art materials and the symmetries we find in our bodies naturally. We've also noticed mathematical design and using ourselves as a compass or a protractor to create spirographs or other radial patterns. A form of dance or self-expression or simply just a way to quiet ourselves and have a peaceful mind. our work and endeavors, one of the deepest connections we have made is that of global citizenship. Through our Instagram and other social media sites, our work began to connect us with that of other teachers and schools around the world. Even many SIS teachers wanted to join in and gave this technique a try, including Mrs. Wilding, a former SIS teacher, that tried this technique all the way in Dubai, inspired by us sharing it on our social media Instagram. Not only did it inspire our local community, but a further community until one day Heather Hansen herself responded to us and our endeavors with her artwork and reposting us on her blog. She said, day made today seeing this post, these beautiful young school children in China studying my work. What a compliment, mind blown, wish I could see this in person. This acknowledgement from Heather Hansen herself, who is an ocean away, not only gave SIS students confidence, but showed them a higher purpose to art. That art has always connected humanity and served as a symbol for the culture it is in. The continuance of applause they kept receiving from local SIS community and an international audience on social media continued to build them up in the way I believe Heather intended this work to. That our bodies and minds are all different, but all bring something really beautiful to our world. Thank you, Heather, for being an innovative artist and sharing with the world. You've inspired our whole SIS community. Some saw the sun. Some saw the smoke. Some heard the gun Some bend the bow Sometimes the wire Must 
Tens for the no Og kort en fejl Se om Men about to explode